Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sean's Vlog, episode thirty-seven. Today is June eighth, twenty twenty. Ah, before we get started, I'm going to touch a little bit about how I have been doing the past couple of days. So overall, vocabulary and pronunciation both have been improving, especially my pronunciation. Ah,、uh, what I said in my Vlog. In the past couple days, were being recognized correctly by the automatic subtitle algorithm at a higher chance, at a higher rate. So that is a reflection that I got my confidence back and I can speak relatively confidently. Confidently, okay. So as long as I can slow down and as long as I can control my emotion. So today we are going to talk about a little bit. About another key to improve your second language, in my case, English. So in the past, we talked about learning language as a class. You can only achieve a little bit better than before, and it's really hard for you to be、uh, excellent, simply because that is not the natural way of people, human being, picking up language. And that's the same for not only learning language; it's same for all the other knowledge. For example, physics. So think about this way: don't think about the education you got, the physics class you were taking at the at the school. Think about how people, as a society, as a whole human being, how people learn the physics. Did they get to know about the physics? About every single aspect of our daily life, starting from a textbook. No, no, quite opposite. They start from making mistakes. They start from observing. They start from summarizing and doing experiment. They repeat, and they start to realize, okay, this is how things work, and they write it down on the textbook. Right? That's a natural process. People go observe. Try make a mistake and understand. Okay, they never start from a textbook. No, never. Only us, the newer generation. The generation took school education. We started from textbook, which is not a natural way of humans' brain pick up new knowledge. Okay. Um. So really recall. How you learn your language, your mother language. So, I think that that is applicable applicable to most people. You, when you were young, you talk with your family and friends with joy, right? With your mother language, you watch TV shows for fun. Most people nowadays, and you read books for fun and the knowledge. What is the common thing for all those three processes? Sorry about my allergy. <coughs> I'm I'm sorry. Those are activities activities you you enjoy, right? The key is fun. <coughs> okay, sorry about that. So that's the second key for learning a language, learning your second language. Is to enjoy the process. So language learning should be a process you enjoy doing every day. Is that true for most people who are learning second language? Probably not. Probably not. People are learning second language in the class. They are memorizing vocabularies. They are they are、uh, taking tests about、uh, grammar, about all kinds of that stuff. Untrue. It's not the most efficient way to learn a language. Remember, recall how you learn your first language. The natural process for human being to pick up language, just to use it. Meanwhile, enjoy it. So the first, use it. Second, enjoy it. Okay, make a mistake and enjoy it. Now I know that we should use it more for sure. But pay attention. You need to enjoy this process of using your language. How so? 
watch television, watch TV shows, watch、uh, movies, read interesting books. Don't let your language learning process a really、uh, pain-taking process. Not necessarily. Okay, make the fun out of it. Okay, I think that's good enough for today's content. And really think about what I said. I'm going to start to make、uh, my language learning process a big fun starting from today. And、uh, I will let you know what happened in the next couple of weeks. All right, thank you so much for your time. Let me know if you like it or dislike it. Have a nice day.